I might regret this. Even when I was super famous, this was not my most popular content. I'm gonna be reacting to some spooky stuff today, and I'm gonna be telling you, adamantly, that ghosts are not real. Now, you're probably thinking, like, Jake, you just haven't had an experience. No. No, I haven't. I've had moments in my life that seemed spooky and unexplained, but then, retrospectively, I've been like, oh, it was probably this. And it usually is. It's amazing how frequently Occam's Razor proves its relevancy. Because let me tell you something. I actually did... <sighs> God. I actually did open up a Discord where people could submit their supposed hauntings that they've captured on camera. And do you know exactly how many credible videos I got? Take a guess. Go on, guess. Guess! No! I'm asking you to guess! Come on! It was zero. It was zero. I did get one really cringy sound bite, like someone had recorded audio of pennies falling on the floor that a ghost had pushed. And I was like, oh, I see what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> it's not real. There are no such things as ghosts. Possessions, hauntings, it's not real. Ouija boards, not real. Almost all of the superstition that we have these days and all the perpetuated concepts that we still use these days were created by mediums that existed many years ago who eventually, as they lay on their deathbed, admitted that it wasn't real. It was just to make money. But people always seem to forget this part, don't they? I've definitely been in situations where if I felt like I wanted to have a ghostly experience or if I wanted to see things as being unexplained, then I could. I can definitely see how other people have convinced themselves over the years that what they saw was a ghost or what they experienced was a poltergeist but I know, after having been in situations like this myself, I've been like, give us a sec, critical thinking. Oh, okay, that's what's happened. It's a massive leap to go from, I can't explain this, to it must have been moved by a disembodied force of a human spirit that is trapped between the ethereal realm and the material world trying to communicate. That's a massive assumption to make. A lot of things exist before that does. There is almost always an explanation for something. I saw a UFO before I've seen a ghost. And I've been in some haunted places, guys. Ghosts aren't real. But today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reacting to some chills. My boy chills. Should I react to chills? I'm not going to be reacting to the whole video. This dude makes like one hour long videos. But don't worry though. I will make sure that it's entertaining. Do you think this video will not do very well? Because I think so. This is the last video of this recording session. And I'm usually not that enthusiastic by this point. So we're going to watch something that I want to watch. So shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so stupid. Do you consider yourself lion-hearted? If you said no, then stop watching. Do you consider yourself lion-hearted? The word's brave, man. The word is brave. <laughs> Do you consider yourself to be lion-hearted? Because these are 30 scary videos for the brave only. Hey, hey, there we go. We got it. We got the word brave in the end. Number 30, Zamboanga Creature. I think I've eaten one of those before. <laughs> a creepy creature was captured on CCTV in the city of Zamboanga in the Philippines. YouTuber Don Ski Gosh TV shares this footage of what some are saying is a ghost. Watch the foliage to the left next to the tree. <laughs> Why are you talking like this? Next to the tree. A figure in white. Real quick, does anybody, anybody in the comment section believe this is real? It creeps out. It's hard to tell if the figure is tiny or simply far away and reduced in size due to perspective at some. It's, <laughs> it's words like perspective that perspective. Can you believe how small the ghost is? <laughs> It's like listening to a song from the 90s. And then it simply wanders away. Yep, yeah, all perfectly within frame of the camera. You think we're stupid? Based on how he talks to us, I think he does think that, yes. 
What happened to this channel? This used to have like actual ghost sightings that people actually could not come up with a solution to. Like real ones that people were just kind of like, what the hell was that? But this is ridiculous. The Area 51 of the UK is a well-guarded place and you two- <laughs> Is it? <laughs> They're right at the gates. <laughs> no one's telling them to go away. Uber Mosarji is trying his best to find a way inside. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm stuck. That's the most YouTuber looking guy ever, isn't it? When you think douchey YouTuber, that's what comes to mind. This guy. Should we go? Yeah, Alright, let's go, let's go. We gotta get in the car. Matthew, we got someone coming. Yeah. Yo, yo, she's coming! Go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry! You got, gotta go quick, she's nearly here! <laughs> It's not like it was the T-1000 sprinting after your little car. It's just some old lady in a high-vis vest. They try another way, but are immediately blocked and guided out. Um, we just encountered a truck. It's blocking our way. We're reversing right now through this road. It just came I don't know if you have those roads in the U.S., but the roads like this, single lane roads like this through the countryside are very common. There's some right next to where I live. That's the license plate says gun. Yep. Another try gets mode chased. I heard somebody coming. I gotta go. Is it just a couple of YouTubers running through the English countryside for a little bit, making up this very weird scenario out of suggestiveness? They're just running through the woods. Does anything actually happen? They filmed an old lady hobbling around. They filmed a gate. And they filmed a truck moving towards them, which happens all the time. And you have to find like a little inlet where you can move in and let them pass. That's it. That's all that's happened so far. I heard two men talking. <laughs> we'll take your word for it, Mo. We'll take your freaking word for it. You didn't film it. I heard them coming. I gotta get out. At some point, Mo and his team aggravate them enough that the cops are called. Oh, they're going to the gate. Oh, they're coming. They're do they're doing a U-turn. I think they're looking for us. They're literally looking for us. <laughs> what? What did you do? <laughs> what have you done? They decide to make a run for it. Yeah, let's get let's jump, the jump the fence. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. The police drove past you. Luckily, the guys make it out without any further confrontation. What happened? Nothing happened! These guys went out, it's kind of genius when you think about it, and they filmed nothing happening and created this entire scenario out of circumstantial footage and suggestive dialogue. From the police, and without any extraterrestrial experiments being done on them, that's what I'd be most worried about. That, that was ridiculous. That was ri you did not need to use 30 clips for this video, Chills. You clearly didn't have that many, man. You are scraping the barrel. The uninvited gin. This gin is not Oh, gin's always invited. <laughs> Drinking culture. Not a welcome guest. YouTuber Paranormal Mai visits this home inhabited by demons and he tries to rid the house of them. See what I mean? I always get yawny and tired by the last video that I have to record. This is why I usually record two at a time and not three. He hears them speaking as he makes his way through the house. Yeah, there's been absolutely no scientific data at all of a djinn ever even existing, let alone talking. And here's this idiot running through a house with a camera and suddenly he hears the disembodied voice of a mythical spirit. If they were this tangible, there'd be scientific data on this shit, but there isn't. The demon appears. <laughs> Look at it just running around. Oh, God. What is this? A Life of Luxury video? The demon vanishes, but he encounters him again in the hallway. This is ridiculous.
in another room. The figure appears again. It looks like it's in white now, but that's a result of the night vision. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> I can't. Do people believe this? Did anyone believe this? Who is this for? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This house is seeping. <laughs> what? <laughs> this house is seeping? Seeping what? Carl and Lottie from Dark Arts TV enter the home where a grisly Shysters. ending of life occurred. It's known as the house that drips blood and this- Oh, it's seeping blood. <laughs> you can't just preface this video by being like, this house is seeping. Anyway. First, they hear footsteps. A new device. A new device I've never seen. Where are they getting these toys from, man? Is this Bandai shit? They hear a hiss, followed by something that truly scares them. Like so much, like... What was that? Is that like a hiss? Yeah. Oh my god. When do, when will this die out? Who's watching this? Because like... This is ridiculous. They're never gonna catch anything on camera, and anything they do is most likely manipulated by these weird toys they're using. They have like a TTS setup for a, for a ghost convo. Mommy, you Christ. Then more foot. What? What's hap? Nothing's happening. You you're just reacting to nothing. If like, how much of the video is that? Like, how much of their video is them doing that? D does anybody believe this? Anyone. And if you do, do you need someone to help you get dressed in the morning? Steps are heard. Now he's got a different gadget in his hands. It's, are these from Sheen? Like, a Wish? What are these from? Do you just, like, go in and just be like, ghost hunting toys, and then you just buy that? All of these noises are secondary. What not? I literally, I'm not hearing anything. I'm like, I have earphones in, like really good ones, and I'm not hearing anything at all. Listen, listen. Seriously, this is insane. It's is it? Because this is far from the most mind blowing stuff I've seen in my entire life. Very far. Are they sensing the evil events that happened here? <laughs> Chills, don't humor them, dude. <laughs> don't humor them. I believe that's exactly what they're feeling. Oh, you know, when Chills drives around in his G-Wagon, I'm sure he doesn't think twice about agreeing with these idiots at any point. <laughs> I don't think he's just kind of like, ah. Maybe I should uphold my integrity and just call these people for what they are. No, I'm sure he's like, yeah, I'm driving around in my G-Wagon. Gonna go to Target, get a bunch of gummy bears, and watch some YouTube. I don't give a shit. And who knows, if they dig further, they may unlock the truth to its case. <sighs> or even find something to actually film. Number 25, The House of the Devil. Apparently, the devil lives here. The devil lives here? The devil. And he's not very welcoming. Or house proud, apparently. YouTube team HD Adam enters the devil's house, and it's here that they must- HD Adam? Did anyone else read his name as HUD Adam? <laughs> to deal with the gin. They hear crashing in the home, but nothing reveals itself. This is the just it's just another guy throwing stuff somewhere. Stop it. That's the hands of the gin, is it? Okay. <laughs> While visiting the haunted Hotel Posada del Sol, YouTuber Chris L. Luna, accompanied by a friend, heads deep into what she calls a place everyone fears. Waffle House? <laughs> Estoy haciendo una exploración. Ahí está el altar. 
Ven la luz, por favor, más. Acércate, acércate. Vean. Este es el altar. Dios mío, ¿quién puede dejar estas cosas? A closer look at the memorial seems to indicate that a young girl passed away here. Wow, those are very fresh looking packets of candy. I mean, it's clearly been set up, right? It's clearly been set up. She wanders the dark halls and that's when she hears something. Is it the sound of her own bullshit? Because I think it might be the sound of her own bullshit. Do these hauntings ever happen in anywhere other than places where you assume a haunting would happen? Like, do hauntings and crazy ghost stuff, do they ever happen at somewhere cool? Somewhere that's not dilapidated? Like, why do ghosts wait for everyone to leave first before appearing? Oh, no. De verdad, me siento perdida. Did you hear it? I, I guess. Could have been added in post. When a simple drive in the woods turns into something this scary. See now, driving through the woods at night. Horrifying. Let's see where this goes. You may not want to take a ride ever again. YouTuber Signs and Signals shares footage of this strange encounter in the forest at night. Damn, damn. What the f what, 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 what the f are you supposed to do? Ain't nobody supposed to be out here. Oh, it's just a guy. It's just a dude with a head torch on. Why are you freaking out? Wait a second. Oh, that's right. They're self-described two idiots. <laughs> The guys wonder what this dude is doing, so they drive closer to check it out, and things get even weirder from there. No, look up Did in we there. we go past it? No, it was right in here. Up in there. Oh, the f***ing light. Is oh. that him laying on the ground? No, he threw the light on the ground. He threw that damn light on the ground. After considering the... It could be... Do you know what? It's even more likely that it's a guy they know, rather than just random- Yeah, do you know what? That's exactly what it is. I was like, they're just filming a guy who's just walking through the woods, probably lives nearby. No, it's probably- it's most likely a guy they know. Guy might need help, but getting no response, they decide to leave, and then this happens. Oh, it's this clip. <laughs> okay, go! Go! This was never meant to be taken seriously. Don't expect sunshine in the middle of this dark evil place. Because it's nighttime and the sun is gone. Evil hangs over the YouTube team. Woe Cuyahoga official. And it's raining darkness down. Nearly a million subscribers. Hola. There's nothing happening. They're standing under a tree and leaves are falling. And then they got a guy to make a noise. That scream is not all they hear. Listen closely. Something unknown is very near. It's unreal. <laughs> like, when did people start getting the audacity to do shit like this? At what point... Did people... something happened in 2015, I think. I think people just became stupid. Because there's no way anyone believes this. Never! And once inside, things get even more paranormal. Wait, what the... Yeah, as if a chair moving on its own wouldn't be cause for panicked sprinting, right? That's what everyone would do. If a chair moved on its own, in a dark little room like that, you'd all sprint away in panic. You'd even drop the camera. You know, just go, oh! Haunted Hand Hotel. Staying overnight at the Haunted Hand Hotel has its perks. Why are all these videos mirrored? What's up with that? Primarily capturing paranormal evidence. See, now this is like a nice little pretty place. It's not a dilapidated shack in the middle of the woods as youtuber kelsey davies speaks to her subscribers in the colorado hotel she hears an odd sound really need to get a fill um haven't had the time they have a lot of antiques in here that are original from the hotel they haven't really from the hotel they haven't really in one of the rooms this loud sound is captured what was, what that? was that? Whoa, deafening. Was that our door? Is that our door? No. What was that? 
Look at these YouTube bros. He's even wearing a NASA hoodie just to be extra douche. What was that? Was that our door? Is that our door? Like, look. These are, these are your quintessential YouTuber clones. They'll find whatever they need to find in order to get millions of subs. That's what they are. They're just, you find them in the store. You buy them. You order them online. I want two YouTube bros, please. A moment later, they hear footsteps. It did say throw earlier. <gasps> Did you hear this? Okay, that was enough. That sounded like footsteps running. That was weird. It was ding, ding. Yeah. And in the dining room, another voice is heard. Person. They're all smiling. They're all having a good time. They're all hanging out, experiencing something that should be so dreadfully horrifying. It would alter people's entire lives. Anyone buying this? All right, I'm done here. This is the dumbest shit ever. I'm sorry, everybody. I should have vetted this to find something better. I didn't really realize. I just, I thought maybe clicking on the most recent top 15 scariest videos ever was going to yield something respectable, at least. Things people were genuinely unsure about. Like something that doesn't immediately have an explanation. There used to be a very brief period on the internet where people would actually submit ghost videos or videos they thought were ghosts that were damn hard to explain. There's always an explanation, but no, everyone involved were like, well, I just filmed this. I didn't try and fake this or make this up. Like I just, something weird was happening and I filmed it and can anyone figure out what this is? And most of the time, yeah, there was always an explanation. It was a tough explanation, but it was there. People are so confident in the fact that there is nothing there, that they're willing to go to these places and fake a bunch of crap just to get views. This is not how normal people react. This is not how anyone would react to coming face to face with definitive proof that there is something that happens to us after we die, right? Because that's a massive concept to just make a YouTube video about. Anyway, guys, ghosts aren't real. See you later.